While many animals rely on being very quiet to surprise their prey, these animals use their volume in extraordinary ways, such as searching for another individual, protecting territories, lure or warn mates of predators, the average human conversation is about 50 decibels, and the human eardrum will rupture at about 200 decibels. Yet, many of these animals regularly approach this level. Here are the top 10 list of the loudest animals on Earth. Number 10. North American Bullfrog. The American bullfrog, often simply known as the bullfrog in Canada and the United States, is a large true frog native to eastern North America. It typically inhabits large permanent water bodies such as swamps, ponds, and lakes. Bullfrogs can also be found in man-made habitats such as pools, koi ponds, canals, ditches and culverts. North American bullfrogs make a number of different sounds to communicate. The loudest sound, which can be around 119 decibels, is made when the mouth is open while the frog makes all the other sounds when the mouth is closed. This loud sound is a cry of pain. Bullfrogs also emit low growling sounds when caught, and they have difficulty escaping, they make a grinding sound when talking to each other. Male bullfrogs make short, high-pitched calls when another male tries to enter their territory. Number 9. Cicadas. The cicadas are a superfamily, the cicadoidea, of insects in the order Hemiptera, true bugs. They are in the suborder Acanorinca, along with smaller jumping bugs such as leafhoppers and froghoppers. The superfamily is divided into two families, the Tetagarctidae, with two species in Australia, and the Cicadidae, with more than 3,000 species described from around the world, many species remain undescribed. With many being discovered regularly. While it's all noisy, perhaps the loudest are Green Grocer and Yellow Monday. These insects make sounds of up to 120 decibels that can travel up to 1.5 miles, only male cicadas make sounds, and they do so to attract females. They are unique in the insect world because they have a special abdominal organ called the eardrum. Cicadas use muscles throughout their body to contract their abdomens to produce sounds. Number 8. Northern Elephant Seal. The northern elephant seal, Meroonga angustirostris, is one of two species of elephant seal, the other is the southern elephant seal. It is a member of the family Phocidae, true seals. Elephant seals derive their name from their great size and from the male's large proboscis, which is used in making extraordinarily loud roaring noises, especially during the mating competition. Female elephant seals make sounds to communicate with their pups. Young pups can be noisy when their mother is not around and they feel in danger. Male elephant seals emit the loudest sound, which can reach 126 decibels. Researchers believe that each northern elephant seal has its own unique voice, additionally, the researchers believe it's the only animal other than humans that makes decisions based on an individual's vocalizations. If a northern seal moves to a new slum, it will learn a whole new language because each slum has its own dialect. Number 7. Moluccan Cockatoo. The salmon-crested cockatoo, Cacatua molluccensis, also known as the Moluccan cockatoo, is a cockatoo endemic to the Serum archipelago in eastern Indonesia. At a height of up to 46 to 52 centimeters and weight of up to 850 grams, it is among the largest of the white cockatoos. The female is slightly smaller than the male on average. Moluccan cockatoos can scream up to 129 decibels, about the same as a 747 jet. Like dogs, if you own a Moluccan cockatoo, it will scream to warn you that it detect a problem nearby. Their call is used to warn their flock of possible danger, they also perform morning and evening calling rituals for 20 to 25 minutes each time. Number 6. Kakapos. The kakapo is the largest parrot in the world and one of the rarest. Without the work of Don Merton and others in the kakapo restoration program in New Zealand, this flightless bird may have become extinct. When the researchers discovered that the bird was still alive, they found only males. Then they found four females. With fewer than 84 known bird species in 2000, the researchers felt the need to act quickly. To save the bird, they took the bird that weasels and ferrets love to a remote island, where the shoreline is so rough that a boat can't dock, they chose the remote codfish island off the south coast of New Zealand because there are no predators on the island. By 2020, the number of kakapo has increased again to 211 adults. Saving these birds is no easy task as they usually only breed every four to five years and don't start until they are at least four years old, male kakapos typically make calls of up to 132 decibels to attract females. 
However, after mating, they let the female kakapo lay one to four eggs and take care of the young on their own. Flightless kakapos must earn up to 16 rimu nuts per minute to feed each nest overnight. Number 5. Howler Monkey. Howler monkeys, genus Aluata, monotypic in subfamily Aluatini, are the most widespread primate genus in the Neotropics and are among the largest of the platyrines along with the Muricas, Brachitellis, the Spider Monkeys, Atiles, and Woolly Monkeys, Lego Tricks. The monkeys are native to South and Central American forests, the screams of male howler monkeys can be up to 140 decibels. The volume of a monkey's call depends on at least four different factors, screams will appear louder in environments with well-resonant acoustics. Second, if a female is attracted to sound, then the male will get louder to try to arouse her. Third, if the howler is competing with other males, it will try to scream as loud as possible. Finally, the loudest subspecies typically use very few other means to attract females while those that do not vocalize by other methods. Number 4. Greater Bulldog Bat. If you think of bats as a silent animal, you are mistaken in the case of the larger bulldog bats that live in Mexico, Argentina, and some Caribbean islands. Their screech is 100 times louder than a rock concert. Different species of bats chirp at a unique frequency, which can help other bats distinguish species from a distance, greater bulldog bat have the highest sound frequencies, but they don't move through the air as well as those with lower frequencies. Today, scientists are applying their knowledge of bats to improve robot performance, especially in the dark. The scientists also believe they have previously wrongly measured the decibels of bats, and that smaller bats such as the larger bulldog bat, which weighs about 1.7 ounces or the equivalent of 10 US nickel, may be much louder than previously thought. Number 3. Blue Whales. The blue whale is one of the largest living animals, so it's no surprise that it also makes one of the loudest sounds, however, blue whale sounds have the same frequency as many other sounds found in the ocean where they live, including ship engines, active low-frequency sonar, and seismic probes from gun arrays explorations. While blue whales typically travel thousands of miles alone, this ocean noise pollution can cause serious feeding, breeding, navigation and communication problems. An interesting fact about blue whales is that, unlike humans, they have absolutely no vocal cords. So how do they make their sound? Scientists have concluded that the most likely source of sound in blue whales is the larynx and nasal sacs. Although they are very loud, most of the sound they produce is below human hearing. Number 2. Mantis Shrimp. Mantis shrimp are carnivorous marine crustaceans of the order Stomatopoda. Stomatopods branched off from other members of the class Malacostrica around 340 million years ago. Mantis shrimp typically grow to around 10 cm in length, while a few can reach up to 38 cm. A mantis shrimp's carapace, the hard, thick shell that covers crustaceans and some other species, covers only the rear part of the head and the first four segments of the thorax. Mantis shrimp living in tropical and temperate seas have unique claws that allow them to close very rapidly to catch prey. When they close their claws, water bubbles form, creating a loud bang. This sound can be up to 200 decibels. The sound frightens the prey, giving it time to grab and dismantle it for their meal. When the water bubble burst, it also shines with natural light, further distracting the prey. This is the only animal in the world that makes sound during cavitation. This process can also release heat hotter than the surface of the sun. Number 1. Sperm Whale. Sperm whales, capable of rattling up to 233 decibels, are the loudest animals in the world. That's not the only category he's leading. The sperm whale is also the largest toothed whale on earth and has a larger brain than any other animal, whalers initially said they heard hammer-like sounds every time they caught a sperm whale. Scientists now know that these reports are accurate, and they believe that the sperm whale's head acts like a giant telegraph. It makes these sounds by pushing air into its right nostril. The nostrils pass through a series of air-filled sacs. A unique part of the whale's body, called the monkey's lip, clamps shut, and the air continues to bounce off the sacs making a unique clicking sound. The sound then travels through the animal's brain, where it amplifies even louder before the sound finally leaves the whale's body. Sperm whales can emit at least three different click patterns. One is used as a kind of long-range sonar. The most common click is a click like a door creaking and means the prey is about to be caught. 
The whale also has a unkowing click that it uses when communicating with other animals.